Hi there, Amber here from Miniature Gardening at Winter Greenhouse. So how do you take care of your mimosa pudica or sensitive plant? And this is one of my favorite plants for gifts for children especially to get them interested in plants. As the name might suggest, it is very sensitive to touching which also means it's very sensitive to shipping. So as it's bumping around through the continent, uh, you're going to find that when it does arrive, it's going to look more like this. In addition, these plants do close up at night naturally, so it's, when it does arrive, it's going to be arriving out of its packaging in its sleepy state. If you've never experienced the marvel of this plant, you are in for a real treat. This plant is super cool and it actually gets these little pink puffball type flowers on it that are really cute. So before we get into why I think this plant is so amazing, why don't we just step into how you care for it. Sensitive plants need plenty of bright light. If the plant doesn't receive enough sunlight, it may end up closing up and it won't be able to produce blossoms. So be sure that it does get enough sunlight. You're going to want to have well-drained soil and use a high-quality potting mix. So your mimosa plant does like to dry out in between waterings, not quite as much as one of your succulents, but it likes to be kind of a medium dry in between waterings. And you're going to want to hold back on your fertilizer in the winter time as they don't feed very much in the winter time. You can see why the mimosa is called a sensitive plant. This true wonder of nature has a lot to offer as a house plant. With its feathery compound leaves and pretty powder puff flowers, it develops flat pod containing seeds that you can harvest and grow into new plants. However, it's amazing leaf action that makes this tropical plant so intriguing. At the slightest touch, the leaflets will quickly close together and then slowly reopen after about a half hour. So it'll also benefit from an occasional warm misting. You can create humidity by placing pebbles in a small tray and filling it with water and setting the potted plant back on top of the pebbles. This plant is also non-toxic for people and pets, so it's a friendly plant to have as an addition to your house plants. So the mimosa, its name is actually derived from the Greek word for mime or the Latin word for bashful, and it's in reference to the way that the leaves retract actually when you touch it, almost making it seem like it has its own consciousness uh, to be shy or physically retract when perturbed. Science hasn't quite figured out why these plants uh, do react or have evolved this way. Perhaps it's a defense mechanism against predators or harmful insects. Either way, the mystery and magic of this plant make it a perfect addition for your home or fairy garden. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like more information, you can find a link to our website in the description box below, miniaturegardening.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.